Daniel Defoe, when he visited the palace in the early 18th century, said that it was more suitable for the court of a prince than the house of a subject. This is uh, one of the rooms from Hamilton Palace, which was built in the 1690s, unquestionably Scotland's greatest powerhouse and treasure house, 10 miles south of Glasgow. What you see here is a room of about 1698-99, with carving by William Morgan in the surround and the overmantel, the capitals and the architrave. You had this wonderful series of rooms which were used in the late 17th, early 18th century and then they're refreshed. What is happening here is one of the first attempts of the 10th Duke of Hamilton to make people aware of his status and his power and his wealth. He put in three black marble chimney pieces of which this is one and his own coat of arms as a knight of a garter in the centre of the overmantel where a portrait would have been before. The actual wall is five metres high and seven metres across. It's almost the uh, same size as the front of my own house. The fireplace is 44 separate pieces of marble and it weighs up to one metric tonne. The walls had two histories really, a history of it being inside the palace and then this fascinating history of it being shipped to America, put up, sold at auction, then put back into storage. These pieces of oak panel have been in open crates for over 80 years, so one of the principal things is just removing all the built-up soot, dust that's accumulated. We brought in a dendrochronologist and we found conclusively that sections of wood from the capitals were felled around 1690s from a local oak woodland in Scotland, which is quite unusual at this time because most of the oaks were being imported. On the marble fireplace, there's still a lot of ingrained soiling, so we're going to have to remove those residues by steam cleaning, which will get into the tight relief. It was designed and built to bring awe to people that came and saw it. I think the public are going to be just bowled over by the sheer scale of it.